video is all about the acid lab and we're going to be going over absolutely everything you need to know from the easiest ways to set this thing up, from how to maximize the most amount of money possible from selling, how to use this business when you're AFK, all of that and more in this video here today, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to be doing multiple sale missions, showing you how to, or not how to do the missions, we'll talk about that. We're showing you how much money you can make depending on how much stock you have. So anyway, without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, guys, so as you can see, See, we are currently in our freak shop. Now, this is where obviously the Fooligans and the Dax missions and the Acid Lab and everything runs out of here. But I, first of all, I wanted to let you know what the context of this video is going to be. And we'll be, there'll be timestamps down below, but I just want to explain what we're doing here today. So first of all, we're going to talk about how to get the Acid Lab and how to set it all up and how to get it for free. Then we're going to talk about the Acid Lab upgrades and what you should and shouldn't be doing to it. Then we're going to be talking about cell missions, how to maximize your money in the cell missions to make sure you are making big bucks this week. Because this week, if I didn't mention already... It is double money. It's two times GTA money and RP. So if you're watching this in the future, the guide still holds true. You're just going to get half the amount of money that I'm getting in this video. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a full sale. So a full acid lab worth of product. See how much money we get. Then we're going to do an hour's worth of work just by itself without boosting the production or anything like that just to see how much money you can make in an hour. And then we're going to do another sale mission where we boost production and see same amount of time in an hour. What's the difference when you boost it? And we're also going to be showing you AFK methods and things like that, just in case you want to jump in, set this thing up, and then just go about your day doing other things and then come back. So to start off, if you don't own an acid lab yet, or if you haven't done the first dose missions, first and foremost, first dose missions are also double money in RP this week. Last dose missions are double money in RP this week. Acid Lab cell missions like we're doing here is going to be double money this week. Fooligan jobs are double money this week. Everything to do with this is double money and it's a great way to make money. If you don't own one, go into your map and then where you're going to want to go is all the way up here. Now, I've already done this mission, so it's not showing up, but it'll be right here. You'll see it on your mini map or your map, I should say. And that's going to start up your first mission. And that is the first dose missions. Once you've completed the first dose missions, which you're going to get really good money for this week, by the way, if you haven't started the first or last dose, do it this week. You're going to get tons of money. But once you complete the first dose missions, you will get the Brickade 6x6 right here, as you can see for free. The only th catch is to turn this into an acid lab, you are going to have to spend $750,000 here with Mutt to turn it into an acid lab. So instead of paying full price for this thing or even buying this on sale, you just do it through the uh, first dose missions. Never buy this thing. Now, once you've purchased it, you're going to come on over to Mutt right here and you're going to have to customize your acid lab. Now, as far as the breaks and all this stuff, I wouldn't worry about that for now unless you're a multi, multi-millionaire in this game. If you're starting out, don't worry about it. But the one thing you do need 100%, no matter if you're just starting out or if you're a veteran, is acid lab upgrades, acid lab equipment, and it is this right here. I already own it, but it's $250,000. And this is literally going to boost your production speed, boost your profits. It is, if you own the acid lab, you have to get this. Otherwise, you're just going to be wasting money. It'll pay for itself after the first sale mission. But here's the catch. If you're like, hey, it won't let me upgrade it, that's because you need to do 10 Fooligan jobs first. Now, Fooligan jobs, you can either call Dax or if you come here to the, uh, to the what's this place called? The, the Freak Shop. If you come to the Freak Shop, Dax will always be out here. And you can just walk on up to him like you can see right here. And it says start Fooligan job. Now, there is a cooldown on this. So you're going to have to do one job and then wait an hour, then do another job. But you have to do 10 of them. So get started right now. But typically, these pays 50000 each job. This week, though, you're going to get 100 k each job. So I'm telling you, if you haven't set this thing up, do it this week. And even if you've done it before, jump into some hooligan jobs. You're going to get 100k per job. But anyway, now we're here. So what are we going to have to do? So first things first, when you go inside of your acid lab, you can see in preparations for this, I have filled mine up here today because we are going to be doing multiple sale missions. So I wanted to make sure it's full so we can get just get going straight away. But once you come into your acid lab, you can speak to Mott and you can buy supplies. No matter how poor you are in this game or not, I would always buy supplies. It's just time is money in this game, and I just always buy them. It's 60000 to fill this thing halfway, so for one set of supplies. 
and that'll fill like two and a half bars. And it takes about two and a half hours, I believe, to, to get go through one supply. So it'll take you around four hours to fill this thing all the way up. Anyway, once your supplies have arrived, you're going to come right to here and you can see a boost acid lab production. And we are going to be doing that today, just showing you how much money you can make within an hour with it being boosted. Now, this isn't going to boost profit, but it will boost the speed in which you create products. So you will profit more within the hour. I'll explain that more here in a second. The other thing you need to do, as you can see right now, and I know a lot of people are going to be saying later on, how did you make this amount of money? Mine only has 670. So right now you can see our value is 670,400. If we go into our interaction menu right here, go to services, go to acid lab, and then go to lab name. Now, if you guys remember, it was about five months ago, there was a bug. And if you named it, there was all these things and you wouldn't get a lot of money. It was a hot mess. But anyway, it should be good now. So we'll call this the taco factory. And as you'll see, nothing has changed because I'm an idiot and I did the wrong thing. You can still name the lab whatever you want, but it's actually the product name which we need to change. Sorry, this is my this is my beginner's guide account. I haven't got that much money or anything on this one, but uh, <laughs> this is just our beginner's guide. So I, I, it's been a while since I've done this, okay? But anyway, product name. You can see down there on the right, it says 670,400. If we go to product name, some of these are going to be locked. You can see complete 10 resupply missions. Don't worry about it. It really doesn't matter. Just go ahead and choose one of the ones that isn't locked. So I'm just going to choose fool's gold. But look at the bottom there, 670,400. As soon as we click this, are you sure? Yes. Now it is 703,800. And 40. Well worth it. Make sure you always do that. It's just it's just the thing you have to do. Now, all we have left to do is sell this stuff. Like I say, we're going to be doing a sell mission with this full thing in a public lobby to see how much money we can make. Then we're going to be doing a sell mission where it's just an hour's worth of work without a bo uh, the boost on it. And then we'll do an hour's worth with the boost on it just to see the differences. But we want to make sure if you're going to upgrade anything, talk to Mutt here and make sure you don't have to do this. I've done a lot of sell missions without it. But if you're going to up upgrade anything, the delivery bike, right? So I would upgrade the armor on this. All I did is armor, brakes, engine and turbo. That's what I did to this just to make it a little bit faster. Now, this thing is also pretty tough. So if you're worried about selling in a public lobby, which is what we're going to be doing here today, you need to understand, first of all, the Acid Lab is a great business. Most of the time people leave you alone. They know it's a mobile business itself and they know the delivery missions you're on a motorcycle. So it's easy for you to avoid them. Not only that, it's a pretty sturdy vehicle. So it'll take a few rockets before it blows up. So if someone does start griefing you and chasing you, they'll kill you before they blow up the motorcycle. And as soon as they kill you, make sure just go into an invite only lobby and start again. You'll lose a tiny amount of product, maybe 10 minutes worth of work but you'll save at least 90%, right? You'll still have the majority of your products available. So because of that, you kind of have an insurance when you're selling this thing. So you need to make sure before you sell, you have to have at least 25 people in the lobby to get the bonus. And then what I always do, we are registered already right now. If you go into online and go to players, you can look at people. And the thing I look out for is the mental state. You can see there at the bottom, my mental state is normal. This person's is up a little bit, but not too much. This person has a pretty, I mean, it says they're deranged. So this one... You want to kind of keep away from people like this because they're, they're just trying to kill people. He's only a level 39 though, so eh, we're not going to worry about him too much. Now, the second thing I look out for before I sell is I always go onto the map. Just see, is the people like, I mean, what is this person trying to do? You know what I mean? I wouldn't worry about this type of vehicle though, because you're on a motorcycle, you'll easily get away from it. I mean, even the tank, you don't need to worry about these things at all. What I would be looking for is obviously an oppressor, which I don't see any right here in front of me. Or like helicopters, but even a helicopter on a motorcycle, they're really good at getting away. So this to me looks like a solid lobby. And I think we're going to be able to sell. Now, when we sell, what is, I mean, there's, what is everyone doing, man? We're just going to get inside this, drive it outside, and then we're going to try and sell this thing. Now, there's three different sell missions, and I'll walk you through them. Um, hopefully we get all three because we're doing three cell missions here today. Um, but I'll walk you through all of them if not. So first and foremost, all you need to do is pull outside, hold down right on the D-pad of your controller. If you're on PlayStation, Xbox, or if you're on PC, I'm not sure what it is. It should prompt you. So you can just walk straight into the back. Once you're in the back, don't sweat it. Just walk straight up to this. Listen, I'm busy. Walk straight up to it and just say sell. Just do it. I know it's stressful. And I also need to set a timer for an hour because that means our product, as soon as we sell this, is going uh, to be ready to go. 
So we have an hour worth is the next mission we're going to be doing. Oh my God, that rocket was for me. That rocket was for me. I don't know who's shooting, but that rocket was. Okay, so we're dead. So, oh, it's him. It's the bloody Deluxo, man. All right, look quickly. We need to do this. So you go invite only and then we're out. We don't need to worry. There's going to be a little bit of loss. The Deluxe. You know what? I feel like the Deluxo. In my eyes, people that drive the Deluxo are usually just nice. They're like people that just enjoy life. I've never seen an aggressive Deluxo before, man. What was that all about? So you can see tiny, 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 tiny amount of product lost. So that's a good, it's fine. We're not worried about it. That'll literally just take us about five, 10 minutes to get that up. So let's get this back up again and I'll tell you how long it took. All right, so we are back and you can see it's full. That took honestly, I think like three minutes. <laughs> I thought it was gonna take like 10, that was like three minutes. So this is perfect. We could just, just gotta hope 25 people stay in here. So I'm actually kind of glad that happened. So I was able to showcase for you guys how good this business is, showing you that even if you get griefed, you can basically get out of there and still keep all of your stuff. It only took me three minutes to fill this thing back up. All right, so we're gonna continue our full Acid Lab sale here. So let's go into the back and let's just start this thing up again. Like I say, with the Acid Lab, don't sweat it too much. I know some people get really nervous selling in public lobbies. But this is the one business that you can feel kind of confident. If I, if what I just showed you, if what you saw just happened didn't convince you, then hopefully us doing it again right now will. So let's go ahead and sell. And also keep in mind, I'm not going anywhere special. Which one's this? Take the fool's gold to the drop off. Okay, so these ones I like to plan out. So I feel like obviously we'll do B first since it's right here. And then we'll go on probably to C, I'm thinking. Um, but... <laughs> But yeah, you just you just enjoy the cell missions, man. Don't get too stressed about them. Um, like I say, you can just back out if you need to. So that's the point here. All right, so let's get to this one. Okay, so this is the other one I was talking about where you have to drop off little uh, little packages. You don't throw these things like a little paper boy like we just did. These ones you've got to stash. And you've got to be like kind of perfectly inside of these things, which is really annoying. But as you can see... And some of these, by the way, there is police. Like that. <laughs> I didn't even realize this is one of the ones that had the police. I'm going to have to lose them. I was about to say, there is some tips to make sure that you don't have the police come after you. Uh, so basically, as you guys saw, there's three different locations when you get to these drop-offs. Um, one of them is hidden from the police. It's out of sight. I learned that from last time I did this and you guys told me. Um, and why did I just freaking get us? Let's let's lose these wanted stars and I'll explain. Like there's three different spaces. If you drop it in sight, you're going to, if there's a cop there, it'll do what just happened. Or you can go to one of the other locations and it'll be more hidden, which is what I did think, but I didn't think it was going to happen on the very first one. All right, let's move on to the second drop. All right, so you see how there's three different drops. We're going to do it here. I don't think there's any cops or anything around this bloody time. But you got to get, like, perfectly in the circle. I think we're good there. It's just annoying, man. Walking in this game is so, like, jittery. All right, let's move on to our third drop. All right, here we are at number three. I don't know if there's any cops here, to be completely honest with you. Come on, get in the little circle perfectly. There you go. I don't think that was a cop. I don't think any of these are cops. No, I think we're good. All right, where are we off to next? I think A. Now, here's the thing, right? So, I feel like on PC, it, you get a lot of hackers and modders. Um, so people that have, it's called, it's like a God complex. And it's typically people that like to ruin people's day. It's because they, they feel like they're affecting somebody. Like they're doing something that is affecting somebody and they like feeling powerful. Uh, <laughs> that's just who griefers are. You know what I mean? That's just kind of weird. Um, but on con on PC, sorry, they do modders. They, they mod, they do the hackers and things like that. That's typically griefers on PC. They'll go out of the way to do that. Now, on console, because you don't have hackers and modders, uh, I feel like you get more griefers because there's no other, you know, they can't d get at you any other way. Um, but so far in this, we've just been cruising. We're chilling. So anyway, let's get to number four. All right, that is a police car if I've ever seen one. So we're going to ignore that police car and we're going to go to the furthest away one, which is right down here, right here. Now, if that police sees me, I'll be fuming. I mean, he's sitting in his car looking this way, but this is definitely the more hidden one. See, there we go. So it works. So if you if you don't want to get the cops, just go to the furthest away one. All right, here we are at the final one. I don't think there's any cops around here. 
So let's just do this one. It's right next to us. Come on. Let me put it down. All right. So that one, like I can say, this is probably one of the longer missions. Leave the area on your bike. Yeah, you got it. This is one of the longer missions out of the three missions that we talked about. Um, but it's it's fine. At least you can kind of plan your, your attack on this one. Which one you're going to go to first. Uh, but anyway, so this one should be a good payday. There is 30, 20, well, there was 30, 28 people in the lobby. So we should get full payday. And there you have it, $985,000. $985, almost a million. I'm surprised it should have been a million, actually. Usually it's a, it's about a million. I'm not sure if someone wants to let me know in the comments why that didn't hit a million. It could still be... Let me know if you've actually hit a million because you might not be able to. It could still be because of the issue that we had with the bloody... They had a three times pay thing recently and it completely messed it up. Or two times pay thing last year. Uh, they, they messed the whole thing up. Anyway, now let's move on to one hour without boosting production. All right, so you can see it is at zero right now. And we're not going to go through all of these supplies in an hour either. So I'm going to set a timer for one hour. We're not going to boost production. We're just going to see how much money you can make in an hour whilst having the acid lab run in the background because it is a passive business now you have two options this week if i was you i would do the hooligan jobs because you'll get 100k for doing them right you can do one in between you can do multiple throughout while you're waiting or you can choose to go afk so for this first one i think we'll do a hooligan job and then the next cell mission we do where we boost production we'll do the afk method so for this one let me just prove to you that it's 100k and uh, let's start this thing up. And I'm not going to show you the whole thing. We'll just skip to the head where we're at the end when I get paid. How about that? Let's do it. All right. So mission. Oh, my God. Excuse you, sir. Mission's done. We just got to leave the area. Let's see exactly how much money we get. We should get it as soon as we get onto this road right here. Our survey says. Where are you? Come on. This is this is getting out of hand now. It's taking too long. There we go. One hundred thousand dollars now. What else are we going to do in between? That was super easy. It took us about five minutes, if that, for 100K. So what are we going to do in between while we're waiting for an hour? Well, you have two options. The first one, like I say, is going AFK. And to do that, there's many options. The one I find the easiest just because it's just so easy. If you have a rubber band, you could just tie a rubber band. Just put it around your analogs and they'll both face inwards like this. And it'll make you do this, right? And you can just leave it like that. Or if you don't have a rubber band handy like I don't, just get a piece of paper, fold it up, and put it into your controller, just like that. Come here, where's my bloody controller? Just like that. See how it's pushing it? It's not really causing any damage. I can set that down now. I can go and come back. We've got 40 minutes left on our timer here until we have this hour up. Or what you could do if you're not going AFK, if you want to continue playing the game, I would go to the nightclub. Source nightclub goods. Call Johan on your phone and source. Let me stop that running around because it's going to give me a bloody headache. Call Johan and source nightclub goods. Now, I have a video coming up tomorrow that'll show you how to skip the cooldown for the nightclub's goods. So you can just constantly do it. So in between while you're doing this, you can do the nightclub goods and start filling that up while you're doing this. You'll be making millions this week, I promise you. But anyway, let's skip forward until we have an hour. Then what we're going to do is just sell it after an hour just to see how much money we make. And then we're going to do another sell mission with the boost on it for an hour to see how much money we make. And don't worry, I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to walk through the sell missions because it'll be quite boring. Unless it's one of the other ones that I want to showcase for you. We're just going to skip through them. So from here on out, we probably don't have that much time left on this video. It's going to be short and sweet, I promise you guys. But I think I've covered everything I need to cover. So let's fast forward this thing up until we do the next sell mission. All right, guys, it has officially been one hour. So now we're going to test how much money that we make with this thing just in an hour without any boosted production or anything like that. There is a full lobby or 26 people. And there is other people doing gun running supplies as well. And those are usually a much bigger target on the back than obviously, like I've been saying a million times in this video, than the acid lab. So we're just going to sell this really quick, see what it's all about, see how much money we get. We've already seen how much we make from the uh, the full acid lab. It was almost a million. Let's see an hour without any boosted production, and then we'll see how much with boosted. So let's do it. All right, so as you can see, 136,369. But what's it going to be in a public lobby? Let's find out. 
All right, so this is another one of those where you have to just store it in a place. We have five of them to go to. When they're up north like this, they are a little easier because they're a little bit more spread out. And there's going to be less people there to grief you. So I'm just going to speed this up and let you guys know exactly how we do at the end of this. Let's do it. All right, guys, and just like that, here's the first one done. Just one hour without any bonuses or anything like that. And let's see, it is 190,000. So 190,000 in an hour, including the Fooligans jobs, right? So the Fooligans jobs are going to give you 100,000 too. And whatever else you're doing within that hour. So, I mean, that alone was what, like 300,000 in the hour? Okay, let's go to an invite only. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come straight back inside. We're going to make sure we've got enough product because it is going to be going through it a lot faster now since we are going to boost it. So let me show you. So you can see we're at zero. So let's go ahead, buy supplies. So those will be coming. We already have some supplies available. And then we're going to come up here and we're going to boost production this time. And then we'll see the difference. That was 190 for that one. Now you can see we are doing our beautiful boosting right here. So this is just going to make it faster. You're going to burn through it, your products. You're, it is a big difference. Now, here's the other thing I wanted to say, because a lot of the times I do these videos where I say, you know, I do X amount of things in one hour. Well, this type of business, it's better to just sell it all in one go. The sale missions are going to be the same no matter what. You're always on mo one motorcycle, whether you've got 50,000 worth of product or 700,000 worth of product. So you may as well do the 700,000 because as I showed you in the earlier clip, the risk isn't even that bad because you can just back out if anyone tries to attack you. But with a boost and things like that on, it'll take you around three hours to fill up your entire acid lab. And that's 700k. But keep in mind, because there's going to be people that think that's not a lot of money. This is passive. It's passive business. You don't need to do anything. Like the KO Perico heist, you can do in between this, by the way. Uh, the KO Perico heist, that's going to be, you know, about a million. But it's a three-hour cooldown. This, three hours, you get like almost a million every three hours. And this too, right now, with two times pay. So you can do this and the KO in between and then back to this. And you'll be, you've will be you got so much money to make this week. Anyway, I'm going to come back in one hour and we're going to see exactly how much money we've made from boosting it just so you can see the difference between boosting it and not boosting it. And obviously, in between, Fooligan job so you can get another 100,000 in five minutes. And there you have it. Another 100K for the Fooligans. Easy peasy. You guys need to be doing these every hour. Set a timer on your phone. I don't know what. But they take five minutes to do 100K. It's just easy money, man. As well as doing the uh, the passive, obviously, the passive bloody what we're doing right now, the acid lab. All right, guys. So for those of you who have made it this far in the video and just curious to see how much money you can make in an hour with it being boosted, um, let's go ahead and do it. It has officially been an hour. Actually, in between this one, I did the KO Perico heist. So, <laughs> so it shows you. You can do other stuff in between, man. Um, okay, that video, by the way, the KO that I just did, that'll be coming out on Sunday. So if you if you want to see that, a lot of you are asking me to do the setup missions and stuff. So I did that for Sunday. But anyway, let's see exactly how much money we're going to get. We're in a public lobby. I'm registered as a VIP because uh, I don't have a CEO office. And um, we're just going to see how much money we can make. Last one was, what, 190000 for an hour's worth of work. This one clearly is already going to be way more. 334. We haven't even... Acid Lab is parked inside. Okay, obviously. And we haven't even bloody sold it yet. Okay, where am I going? All right, so we've just pulled this thing out once again. Let's go ahead and go into the back of it. Now, I'll skip ahead just like I did on the last one. Unless we get the mission with the cop car, which is more than likely since the first two we did, we had the other two missions. We may get the police car one, uh, the ambush. But if it's not, we'll just skip ahead. The ambush one, it's fairly easy. I feel like I've already explained it to you guys. But um, I'll try and show it to you anyway. Why isn't it not? Is it starting? Did I click it? There we go. All right. Answer. Hang up. Go to the drop off. This is a one of 10. No, it's not. Okay. So this, I, I don't want to jinx it, but I'm pretty sure 99% anyway, that this, <laughs> that this is the one where it's the police one, where they, they're bloody, they come and get you. So I'm going to speed this up here a little bit until we get there. And I'll show you what you have to do for this one. Just to make it faster. This is probably the fastest cell mission you can do. So let's get there a little bit quicker. I see an oppressor coming right towards me. So we're doing some maneuvers right now. All right. Yeah, that oppressor is definitely... I think he's coming for me. Oh, God. Why is there always one, man? Just, just as always, what well, we're going to still continue to trying to do this whilst evading this oppressor. 
is the plan. Let's see what we can do. Let's speed it up. So I think the oppressor has given up. That even shows you the only vehicle that could chase a motorcycle doing these cell missions is really an oppressor. It's the only one you should be scared of. But even they don't want to deal with people doing these cell missions, man. The motorcycle is just too nimble. They can't keep up. It's just not worth it. Anyway, let's speed it up till we get there. All right, so here we are at the parking structure that I told you guys about earlier. So what we're going to do, you see there's a truck right there, right? So if I go to pistol. There we go. Now we got the cops. We don't. Oh my God. Screw the cops. We got this guy. <laughs> you thought, see, no one, nobody can take out these bloody things, man. Nobody. All right, let's make sure we got snacks, though. Your cars can't keep up, man. That guy tried his hardest, though. Piece of shh. All right, car is still indeed looking for us. That car is not giving up. And because of him, unfortunately, we do. Uh, we were about to lose the cops. But that there's a guy still trying to chase us, which is quite frustrating. But it is what it is. So we do have cops chasing us. So we're going to go down onto the freeway. And we're going to try going into this tunnel right here. Because if there's griefers... They're not going to know where we are. And also the cops aren't going to be able to get us. So this is always a good place to go. We'll just go to like here. And let's keep an eye. Hmm. We can't see. Well, there's him. He was the one that was chasing us. Doesn't look like anyone else is trying to come after us. All right. We lost the cops anyway. Where are we headed? All right. Let's just get out of here. So you can see we got chased by an oppressor that gave up very quickly. When he realized there was no chance he was going to keep up with us. And then we got chased by a car who also gave up pretty quickly. Uh, when they realized that they couldn't keep up with us. They really did try though. People are going to be out here trying to get you. But it's just not going to happen. This is why, A, if you are a griefer, don't come after people that are doing acid labs. You're just going to embarrass yourself. And B, if you are somebody that's selling, don't worry about it too much. Like, right there, a lot of people may have panicked and decided they were going to back out of the lobby because they were being chased by an oppressor or by someone, like, shooting at them. Don't worry about it. You can get away. All right, let's speed up till we get there. All right, here we are right at the end. Now we just need to leave the area. There is a guy up there. I don't know what his plan is. All right, is there any vehicles here for me? Don't see it. What are we going to do? Just bloody run? We'll take our Sparrow. There's two cars up there. You see on the mini map? I'm not worried about them, though. So here's the difference, though. We are, like I say, on console right now. On console, well, you guys know all my videos on PC, I don't mind. But on console specifically, I really don't mind. I know there's no hackers or modders. There we go. 474,000 for an hour's worth of work at when you, well, when you expedite it, right? When you speed it up a little bit. So that's almost half a million for one hour's worth of work. And I know what you're thinking. Yeah, but you can only do that once a day. Most people only play once a day. Keep that in mind. Most people can't, will only jump in and do one cell mission a day. So log into the game, Sorry boost production. Game. Sorry, Mutt. Log in. Let's actually jump back to uh, this. So yeah, log into the game this week. Just boost production as soon as you log in and then just go AFK. Just let it do its own thing leave come back four hours later and you will be laughing or oh, just come back an hour later and you'll get what we just got there which is almost half a million so you can do that at least this week you're gonna get 500k let's say you do this once a day it takes you an hour you can get 500k a day just by doing that this week it is easy easy money hopefully this guide has helped you out if you have any questions let us know down below but let's see how much money we made today in this video so in this video just with the acid lab alone we made almost 1.9 million we made 1.8 million and 50,452 now that includes all of the sale missions we did here today with the acid lab plus the two hooligan missions where we got 200,000 each i could do another one right now and get another 300 or another 100 so it'll be put on us at like 2 million but that also doesn't include we did a ko perico in between during this video that'll be coming out on sunday which we got like 1.2 million for so technically in this video alone i had made like three million dollars um 
but just with the acid lab it was two million and you can keep going man you can keep going make sure you're resupplying this coming back selling doing the afk method if you need to if you don't have time doing a ko perico in between doing some fooligan missions in between or resupplying your nightclub in between that video like i say will be out tomorrow so make sure you subscribe with notifications on for that but anyway i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day i hope you're having a fantastic start to your weekend and i'll see you tomorrow as always with a brand new video goodbye <laughs>